reject some things, but it will be very hard to reject his love. This morning, we want to preach if that isn't love. If that isn't love. John 3 16. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. Hold on. It said that love isn't love until something has been sacrificed to give it. Mm. Let me say that again. Yes. Somebody telling you they love you, they this, that, and the other. Love is not love right. until something has been sacrificed Amen. to give it. That's why young girls, you better be careful. Some man telling you they love you, they love you, love you. He ain't doing nothing now. He ain't willing to commit himself faithfully to you. He ain't willing to this, that, and the other. Amen. No, no, no. Until something is sacrificed, it's not love. You, in the scriptures, it talks about for God so love, he gave sacrifice. Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church that he gave sacrifice. When it's real love, you'll see sacrifice with it. All right. So God so loved. Come on, read. For God so loved the world. So expressing how much for God so a lot, a whole lot. So for God so loved the world. Come on, read. That he gave. Uh huh. His only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, that whosoever, believeth in him, uh huh, should not perish, uh huh, but have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. So here is God's love that was sent to mankind. It cost him. He knew the cost. This would cost him his son to be sacrificed on a cross on Mount Calvary. He still chose. To give his son. He chose to watch what his son went through. He chose not to intervene. Let me speak for a moment as a father. To give your child and you know what it's going to cost. Then to not intervene when you know your child is being done wrong. When you know you got the power to correct what your child is going through. But it was love that kept his fatherly attributes from intervening when he felt the pain and it hurt him so much. It was love for you and I that he allowed his child to go through the worst type of death that mankind could ever face. So we see if that is in love for him to send his only begotten son despite it said God so loved the world not the church not good people but the world if that is in love if that is in love for God to say look at them down there getting high look at them down there sleeping around I will still send my little my only begotten son to die on the cross if that is in love knowing what mankind had done go over to Hebrews 10. So we've seen God's love. Let's look at the love of Jesus. It took two acts of divine love in order for mankind to be redeemed. Hebrews 10 verse 1. Just read down through here. The law having a shadow of good things to come, uh -huh. and not the very image of the thing. Come on and read, brother. And never with those sacrifices which they offered, mm -hmm. year by year, continually, make the coming there to perfect. My Lord. But then would they not have ceased to be offered, because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sins. Mm -hmm. But in those sacrifices, there is a remembrance again, made of sins every year. My Lord. For it is not possible that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. My Lord. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. So here the law had sacrifices, animal sacrifices. They weren't sufficient. They had to keep sinning. 
Sin separated mankind from God. That was the whole issue. Mankind disobeyed God. They had to separate the law. It wasn't sufficient to restore mankind because they had to keep sacrificing. So here he said, I don't want the sacrifices. This is not the completion of the plan. The only way this is going to happen. I need a body. I need a body on that cross. I need a body that will shed his blood. Amen. So here we see that the law was not sufficient. If it isn't love. Come on read, brother. And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. Come on. Then said I, Yes. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. Then said I, Jesus. Come on, lo, I come in the volume of the book. Read. It is written of me. It is written of me. To do thy will, O God. To do thy will, O God. Above when he said, Sacrifice and offerings and burnt offerings. Yes. And offerings for sin, thou wouldest not. Come on. Neither has pleasure in them. Uh huh. Therein. Which are offered by the law. Read, brother. Then said he, Yes. Oh, I come to do thy will. Lord, God. I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first. He taketh away the first. That he may establish the second. Come on and read. Thank God. He taketh away the law that he may establish the new covenant, the first covenant up under the law. He said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book to do thy will, O God. Lo, God, I'll go to earth. He was willing to give up heaven, amen. If that is in love. He's up in heaven, my God, the beauty of heaven. My God, here he was willing to give up heaven to come down. He said, Lo, I'll go, God. I'll go. I'll be the one that go. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. I'm going to leave heaven to come down to earth. If that wasn't enough love, he says, I'm willing to go. I'm willing to leave heaven. I'm willing to go. He was willing to hurt, to die on the cross. He says, I'm willing to die on the cross. I'm willing to be beat. I'm willing to be stabbed. I'm willing to be pierced on the side. I'm willing to be spit on. I'm willing to be ridiculed. He despised the shame. There was a shame about the cross. The cross had a shame with it. It said he was willing to despise. He despised the shame. If that is in love, my God. My Lord, my God. To put yourself in a situation in which your reputation, people care about their reputations. You let somebody say something about you that's not right or somebody do, you get a person riled up. Don't mess my reputation up. Don't say that's why lying is so. Don't lie on me. Don't do this, that, and the other. Don't mess my reputation up. But here he knew. The reputation of those that died on the cross. He despised the shame. Not only that, he would have to be separated from his father, who he had never been separated from. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. All the way in the beginning, the word was with God and the word was God. But here he knew when God cannot fellowship sin. And when he got up on the cross, he took on the sins of all mankind. He knew at that moment, God was going to have to turn from him. Oh, that hurts so bad. But he said, I'm willing to do it if it would give an opportunity for others to be able to be turned to God. I'm willing for God to turn his back on me if I can give the opportunity for others to be able to turn to God. So here we seen the depth of his love. Go to Romans chapter 5 verse 6. This love was our only hope. Romans chapter 5 if that isn't love. Well, when we were yet Without strength in due time. For when we were yet without strength, we couldn't help ourselves. Come on, let's see the love, my God. In due time, Christ died. Uh huh. We didn't need, my God, a preacher. They didn't need a prophet to tell them what they were doing wrong. They needed a redeemer. So here it said, "Come on, read, brother." For when we were yet without strength. When we were yet without strength. In due time. In due time. In other words, we had no hope. We didn't have the ability to help ourselves. In due time, once Christ, prophecy was fulfilled, Christ, come on. Christ died for the ungodly. He died for the ungodly. What a great love. Come on and read. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. I believe in some circles, they would say, I'll give my life up for a righteous man, a righteous call. I'll give my life. We weren't righteous. We were terrible. Come on and read, brother. Yet three yes. For a good man, some would dare to die. For a good man, will some dare to die? I believe they would say sometimes if it was a president, they would have these guys that run with them. And if you ever look at the grassy knoll down in Dallas, and you would see President Kennedy, he had some people that was riding behind him, people that were standing, especially early on in the, uh, in the parade. He had guys that was around him. They were trained that if you hear something, you run and you cover the president. That's right. You run and you take the bullet for the president, my God. Yeah. Well, here it says, scarcely can they find somebody that will go that far and say, listen, I'll protect the president. If I hear a bullet, I'll take a bullet for him. My God. 
we weren't no presidents. We, we, we were nobodies. We weren't nothing, my God. But Christ was willing to say, I'll take a bullet for him. I'll take the cross for him. Oh, we going somewhere this morning. If that isn't love, we're, we're nobody. We're scummy. Humanity scum. Sinful people. For God, he reversed it. We should have been willing to take a bullet for him. But he was willing to take one for us. If that isn't love. Come on and read, brother. But God commended his love toward us. But God commended his love toward us, showed his love towards us. Read. In that while we were yet sinners. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ died for us. Read. Much more than. Much more than. Being now justified by his blood. Uh-huh. We shall be saved from wrath through him. We shall be saved from wrath through him. All right. If that is in love. Love is going to be what prevents us from destroying our life. Pray with the saints. Love is going to be what helps us to get on track if we ever get off track. Love is the strongest thing that God has to prevent a person from spending eternity in hell. You can proclaim judgment. You can proclaim claim uh, 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 this, that, and the other. But if a person goes past love, that's why, I'm going to tell you this, if I ever see somebody that do their mother wrong, do what you do. And, and listen, if you ever see somebody doing their mother wrong and you get sides with them, you say, yup, yup, okay. You ain't the one that birthed them. If they could turn on their mother, Say what you want. Get their back. Tell them how you support them. And their mother's office. If somebody would do their mother wrong. If somebody would go to mama. I smack you in your face. Wish you would. See. In a. In a. In the most basic sense. Man and woman compliments himself. It's kind of like even in birth how they come together from a genetic perspective and the chromosomes and how they connect and which one seed go forth, which one harbors it, which one nurtures it, which one, it's just a beautiful design that only God, only God could do. And let me just make a point very clear. I don't care what state you live in or what country you live in. You cannot undo what God did. Call it intolerance, call it whatever you want. But the point is, is God, when he designed something, you can cut your hair all off if you want. You can have a long wig if you want. But when God designed something, you can cut off stuff if you want. But when God designed something, it's the way it is. Thank God, amen. amen. So here... Man represents kind of justice or judgment. Uh, uh, a dad will protect you, but you kind of innately, sometimes it's a little different, but innately, you look at your dad, it's like, oh, daddy's coming, daddy's coming, daddy's coming. <laughs> yes? Because dad kind of represents that authority, that justice, that judgment. But when you fall down and bump yourself, mama! Mama! Mama represents just that love. Just that, that, that love. So here... Why well, I said, if you reject mom, you can give kind of mad. Daddy, daddy, why you do that? But mom's sitting there, son, in the courtroom, son. Mama's usually the last one in the courtroom. Ain't nobody else in the courtroom but mama. Just sitting there. She's hoping that the judge see mama there. Judge, I know he's supposed to get 20 years, but mama's here. Judge, I'm just hoping for mama's sake. Just, just, I've seen drug dealers about to get shot. They, they riding down and say, they run. Now, this is a cowardly act. But they run. They see their mom in the yard. They run behind their mom because they know even a drug dealer going to respect the mom. I mean, mama. You going to shoot my mom, bruh? So here, 
The epitome of love is through a mom. Love is what's supposed to stop what God uses to stop a person from being lost. Go over to Luke chapter 15 and let us show an example of God's love. Come on. Let's get into it. If that isn't love. So we needed God's love in order to send his son. We needed his son's love in order for us to be redeemed. Let us look at his love personified. Come on and read. 15, 11. And he said. And he said. A certain man had two sons. A certain man had two sons. And the younger then said to his father. Uh-huh. Father. Yes. Give me the portion of the goods that falls to me. My Lord, read. And he divided unto him his living. Yes. And not many days after that, a uh-huh. young son gathered all together. So here you had a young man that wanted the world. He did not want to be home anymore. He told his father, Father, give me the portion. In other words, give me my inheritance. He was supposed to wait until the father died to receive that, but he couldn't wait. He didn't care. He wanted his way. He wanted to do his own thing. So he said, Father, give me what's mine. I want it right now. All right? Not many days after. Come on and read. And not many days after the younger son gathered all together, uh-huh. he took his journey into a far country. My Lord. And there wasted his substance. It said he took his journey into a far country. Amen. I heard it said one time he didn't intend to go to a far country. He just intended to get away from home. But friends, sin will take you further than you want to go. You may say some things that I'll never do this. I'll ne- if I go out there, I'll never do this. I'll never do that. But friend, many times, my God, many people end up saying, I'll never go here. I'll never go there. But sin will take you further than you really want to go. You didn't intend to end up, my God, on heroin. You just said, all I'm going to do is just fire up a little bit of joint. I'm going to fire up a little bit. of. You didn't intend to have three or four different baby daddies. That was never the intention. When you told mom and daddy, I'm out. I'm going to do my own thing. You're not going to tell me what to do. I'm out. Me and my girl, me and my boy, we going out. You didn't intend, my God, to get the bumps on your private part. You didn't intend, my God, to cross certain lines. You said you would never do this. But sin will take you further than you want to go. Sin will keep you longer than you want to stay. Sin will cost you more than you want to pay. You dealing with sin, and sin is no joke. Come on and read, brother. Not many days after. Not many days after. The younger son gathered all together. The younger son gathered all together. Come on and read. And took his journey into a far country. Took his journey into a far country. And there wasted his substance. Come on and read. With riotous living. Wasted his substance. With riotous, wasteful living. Wasteful living. Come on and read. And when he has spent all. And when he has spent all. There arose a mighty famine in the, in the land. That's what the devil wants. He wants everything you got that's good. He said, when he has spent all, my God, the thief cometh not but to steal. Kill and destroy. Come on and read. And he began to be in want. He began to be in want. You may have it all going your way right now. You may say, I don't need God. But friend, I'm going to tell you, eventually you're going to be in want. You may say, I'm good. And guess what, but Lee? I didn't go so far that I'm strung out. I'm out there, but I'm not strung out, so I really don't need God. Okay, keep living. Eventually you're going to get to a point where you need only God can help you. You're going to get to a point where only God's going to be able to strengthen. Listen, you may say, no, no, I'm real good. Okay, keep living. Let something happen to you in your body. You may be strong right now. You got, you got strength. I'm a man. Yeah. Look at me. I don't need no God. I don't need the saints prayers. I don't need none of this stuff. I do me. Wife trying to tell you, won't you give your life? Well, no, no. I do me. Let the doctor say nothing else we can do. times have I seen it, my God? Brother Hampton's in the hall. He said, so-and-so called. Brother Hampton, can you come up to for the hospital? Can you come up to Mercy Hospital? Can you come up to Sparrow? Can you come up to U of M? We're on the fourth floor. Brother Hampton, you said that they came to do our brain, man. Why wouldn't you listen when you had it going on? Why wouldn't you listen when you were out there driving your fancy car? Why wouldn't you listen when you're going party to party, getting ready for the draft, getting ready to unleash your rap album? God couldn't get a hold of you then. How much would it take? I used to always say, Lord, I pray you get my attention. Let me phrase it exactly. I said, Lord, I don't want you to have to force me to come. Right, right, right. I don't want 
to be sitting there with AIDS. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it. Is that what it took? Is that what it took? Yeah, you have uh, you, you, you're the lecture chair. Saints child, perhaps. Saints, it's on him. In a month, I'm going to die. In a month, I'm going to die. Saints, pray, pray, pray. Saints, saints, help me. Saints, saints. What will it take? That's what we're preaching this morning. We're almost there. We almost there. What well, it said when he spin off. I just said, Lord, I don't want. So God dealt with me one day. He said, I've been dealing with you. You said you was coming. You haven't found no peace out there. Be real with yourself. You can front on some other people, but I know the real deal. You may tell them you got this and that, but I know on the inside, son, you're not happy. You don't have any real joy. In fact, you're wasting your life. Why don't you come? Before it takes all of that. Right, Once he, it said, come let us reason together. Once I reason it like that, yes. and I start walking down the aisle. No. I said, man, I could have been in hell. Yes. I was playing Russian roulette. Yes. You don't know how many car accidents I was in. Yeah. Didn't tell my parents. Going down I uh, 127, coming from Lansing, ice storm, black ice. We didn't know it was black ice. Black ice. We went up over this hill, came down a hill, going to 60, 70 miles an hour. All we seen was cars littered up and down. All on the highway, on this way, that way, side. We tried to hit the brakes. The harder we hit the brakes, the faster we went. Came to bam, hit another car. This car hit this car. That wasn't the bad part. So we end up hitting us. We get out the car. We standing. There's cars coming. We can't get off the highway. We're trying to this black ice. We cannot move. It was that could have killed me. But then I'm on the highway, not in the car, with cars coming, and I can't get off the ice. I can't to get all the way down on my knees and just kind of just scoot and scoot and get as far off the 127 as I could and just hope and hope this guy don't come because I ain't ready to die. I'm going to go to hell tonight. I don't want to go to hell tonight. Don't let that happen to me. I'm sitting on that wall. And I'm like, I should have already checked into hell years ago. Years ago. And I said, you know what? Why well, this is an opportunity. Brother Ron preached that message. They said, come down. Yes. <sighs> Listen to it recently. They said, come down. Jesus, come down from the cross. You all that? You open up the blinded eyes? <sighs> Heard him this morning say it. He said he stayed up there. So that Sister Hampton. My God. Started naming this saints. Love kept him up there. He didn't, he wasn't killed. He laid down his life. Amen. You better study theology. Amen. That was love. Amen. So that a woman could go and get saved who attended North Southwestern High School in River Rouge, Michigan, could give her life to God, run into a young man who had given his life to God and they can have children and could raise those children to give their life to God. So here it said, when he had spent all, Friend, how much more will it take? My God. Why wouldn't you today say, Lord, you love me so much. I don't deserve another chance. I don't deserve salvation. But Lord, you love me so much. You got a plan for my life. Lord, I should be lost. I should be gone. But you had mercy upon me. Lord, the love you've shown. Why wouldn't you say, today is my day. Come on, we getting there. Come on, read. And when he had spent all, and when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land. Yes. And it began to be in want. Yes. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. It said he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. In other words, he became a slave. Come on to read. And he sent him into his field to feed swine. Slave represents addictions. Addicted by this, addicted by that. Come on and read, brother. Swine. Done things, my Lord. Mm. You said you would never do. Swine was that which the Jews, they would never touch swine, pigs. It was against their custom. But here they go and do things that they said they'll never do. My Lord, not my God. This was not only a reproach to him, but a reproach to his family. My God, my, my Lord. 
to have a Jewish son in a, in a pig pen was a reproach. Yes, sir. This represents you doing stuff that if your parents saw you doing it, it was a reproach. I didn't raise you for that. No, I didn't raise you for that, daughter. You doing that? Hold on. You got what? You trying to blow stuff out, mama, come on. No, no, no. He was out there. It's showing you all the way out there doing stuff that he knew better than to ever do. But let's look at the love of God. Come on and read, brother. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. He would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Come on and read. He would have did. He didn't have that. Read. Low. Sin would take you low. Read. And no man gave him. Where was all his friends at now? Read, brother. And when he came to himself, uh -huh. he said, how many higher servants have my father that have bread enough and to spare? Oh, my Lord came to himself, my God. Hold on. Read verse 16 one more time. And he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat. Uh-huh. And no man gave him unto him. My Lord, really low in the spirit, the mind. My God, no man gave him. No man had anything for him. No man could help him. Isn't there something? You get into a spot that nobody can help you, but God is right there. Hold on, I don't want to get ahead of myself. My Lord, in other words... Sometimes we're dealing with spirits that only God can help us. Sometimes we're dealing with mental issues that only God can help us. Sometimes we're dealing with health issues. They may give us some for the pain, but they can't, my God, deal with the real issue we got. We're in a tough situation. Only God can help us. We got financial situations. Mama can give me a little bit of money, but I'm in a deep hole. Only God can help us. I'm dealing with some mind issues. They're telling me that I'm bipolar. They're telling me I got anxiety. They're telling me all of this, my God. They give me things for the symptoms. They gave me a marijuana cut gave me all this stuff but the problem remains I'm in situations that only God can help us my God can you imagine being in a situation that only God can help you my God but God don't turn his back on you in that moment come on and read brother and when he came to himself yes he said uh huh how many higher servants have my father he remembered home read have bread enough and to spare come on don't forget about home read Amen. and I perish with home come on and read I will rise and go to my father. Uh-huh. And will say unto him, Father. Yes. I have sinned against heaven. Come on. And before thee. Yes. And am no more worthy to be called thy son. He came back the right way. My Lord, and that's all God has. Come the right way. Amen. He came humble. He didn't come back with his chest stuck out. He didn't come back, uh, uh, I'm this, I'm that. He said, man, I'm not even worthy. I'm nobody. Many people cannot get saved because of pride. Yeah. Pride stands in the way. If I go get help, they're going to know I need help. You need help. Hallelujah. You need help. We all did. We can't, that's why we can't look down on nobody. We all need help. People want to come back with chips on their shoulder. This, that, this, so-and-so did me wrong. So, listen, you come back, man. Listen, I ain't worthy. I'm not worthy to be among the saints. I just want to be among, named, named among the saints. It's a blessing just to be around the church, just to be with the saints of God. Y'all don't owe me anything. Y'all don't got to shout when I testify. Y'all, I just want to be saved. Daddy, just let me come back home. I'm not asking for my room back. I'm not telling you got to do this. Daddy, can I just come back home? He came back the right way. And when you come back, you can get help. When you come back the right way, when you come back with humility, bro, Brokenness and contrition, my God. You come back just saying, Lord, can you forgive me? Lord, can you give me another chance? Lord, can you just give me one more chance? Lord, I'm just coming back to the right way. You don't have to do anything for me. I'm not asking you to make me or give me this husband or that husband. Lord, yeah, give me this job. I'm not asking for anything, Lord. Just give me another chance. Come on and read, brother. And are no more worthy to be called thy son. And are no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me. Make me. Come on and read. And he arose. Yes. And came to his father. Come on, he arose and came. You got to arise. Come on, read. But when he was yet a great way off, here it is. His father saw him. Hold on. But when he was yet a great ways off, if that is in love, he didn't have to plead and beg and tell his dad, Daddy, I'm sorry, I messed up your whole life savings. Daddy, I'm sorry. It said when he was a great ways off. Represents. His father was waiting while he was out there messing up in the pig pen, so to speak, messing his life up. His dad, how long has your father been waiting by the window for you? How long has he been waiting by the window hoping his daughter will come back home, hoping his son has had enough of sin, hoping that one day, no doubt the other 
your child. Dad, leave the window alone. No doubt his wife, leave the window alone. No doubt some friends come by, leave the window alone. He not coming back. But he just said, I'm staying here because I'm just hoping. Yeah. I'm, if that is in love yeah. for a dad to stay by the window, just hoping. I just hope that one day he'll come to himself. Yeah. The Bible said, train up a child in the way that he should go. You don't know how many saints passed away to the other side. Hoping. They left with a hope. I just hope that I see my child again. Amen. I'm drawing my last breath. Tell my children, come in. But the Hampton, last week of his life, I believe it was the last week or 10 days of his life, he said, bring all my grandchildren. He said, get every one of them that you can find. Get every single one of them. Tell them all to come in. Surrounded bad. And he began to proclaim to them, I got to go. I got to go the way of all the earth. But I want to see y'all again. I want to see y'all again. That's how his father was. He was saying that I'm just hoping. I'm just hoping that that's my child. I'm hoping that my child will come to themselves. I'm hoping that they will realize they don't got to go out like this. I'm hoping they realize they're royalty. Do you realize you was raised in truth? You're royalty. You know truth, my God. You ain't got to go out like that. You better than that. You, you're royalty. So he sat there. He said, I'm waiting and just hoping that my son will come. Come on and read, brother. But when he was yet a great way off, when he was yet a great ways off, his father saw him. His father saw him and had compassion. Uh huh. And ran. Uh huh. And fell on his neck. Hold on. It said he ran. If that isn't love, he should have been running. The wrong one is running. Do you want to see God run today? You let some broken sinner, some backslider, some saint shout that mother is on the other side. That's saying, I want to come home. You want to see God? If that isn't love, God going to run for us? Come on and read, brother. And ran and fell on his neck. You got to and fell on his neck. Stinky, nasty smell. Not after he took a bath. Not after he washed all that pig stuff off of him. You ain't never smelled pig feet. That's after it's pickled. No. Who is there anybody in here that ever heard of or worked with a man named Brother Price? Raise your hand. Is anybody here? So we got a couple of people that work with Brother Price. I love Brother Price. But he took us some places. <laughs> they fed those pigs anything. Just dump old molded food and old this thing. Just dumped it in there. It stank. Not stunk. It stank. <laughs> so if you work with all that stuff all day, you come home, it's kind of like, here he came, saints. Yesterday, we had a funeral. And I don't know who it was, but somebody Whoa. that loved the forest <laughs> came up in there. Right. It might have been a couple of them or a few of them. So yesterday before service, night service, I had to run in the back and get the uh, 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 air freshener because I knew the service was about to start and see some saints got a serious burden for the community. Other ones, it's kind of like they're working on it. <laughs> this wasn't technically a save and sanctified funeral. But the Bible said, go ye to all the world. <laughs> Preach to God. Jesus, this probably, probably would have been the funeral Jesus preached. Not a church of God preacher, but Jesus. He, Jesus would have preached this type of funeral. Literally. It was moments. I heard the door almost unlocking. I took the spray. I said, man, please, Lord, don't let the saints come in and smell this weed. Please help them not to come in and smell this weed. Thanks, hell, look out, help them, help them not to smell this weed from this funeral. All these people came in smoking weed. My God, don't you realize you can stop smoking in your car, but that smell stay on you. That's why they call it skunk. So somebody sit down everywhere you sit, everywhere you go. Ain't even a socially acceptable drug. She sitting there, it smells so. It said, "Why he was smelling like weed." Some people say, "I got to clean my life up." No, you don't understand the love of God. 
Some people will say, you understand, I got to go, uh, I got to stop this addiction. I got to, you don't know how many people, amen, have gotten saved with stuff in their pocket. My Lord, that God just came and I'm not judging you. I'm not here to dog you out. I'm not here to tell you, my God, you ain't good enough. You are good enough. My God, you are all of that. If you're willing to come back for a relationship with me, see, God, see, some women, they only want a finished product. They only want, I mean, he got to be certain height, certain complexion, certain uh, 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 figures after his income, drive a certain car, have a certain this, that, yeah, uh, and then they say, okay, fine, okay, I might, uh, I, I, I can't, but see, some women, sometimes they get a little bit older, when you're young, you, you, I don't know if you got this much game yet, when they get a little bit older, they stop judging what they see, and they kind of say, hold on, you know what, his hair ain't that tight. But I can get that lined up. Mm-hmm. His clothes is kind of good, 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 good. But we can go to the outlet. Oh, yes. I put it, I get him, I, I put it together. Oh, yeah, I can get. So they, they, they don't just judge what they see. They judge what he could be. See, y'all, the sisters, y'all don't want him. Y'all say, that's fine. That's fine if God's sending my way. If God happened to send him my way, wait till I get done with him. Just, 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 just give me about six months and let him walk up in here. Jesus, he said, I don't need no finished product. I don't need you to have everything all together. I don't need you to be delivered. I don't need you to be uh, clean. I don't need you to, don't be, no, adultery, this, that, the other. If you're committing adultery, if you're lying, if you've done whatever, if that isn't love, yeah. fell on his neck. Yes. Kissed him, my God. Kiss, kiss neck, kissed him, not hugged him, put his lips on his neck. Son, come on and read. Almost done, read. And fell on his neck and kissed him. Fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him. And the son said unto him. Father. Father. I have sinned against heaven. I've sinned against, he can't correct. Father, I don't deserve what you're doing. What you doing? You understand? Let me tell you what I'm done so you'll back up off of me. I've sinned against you. I've sinned against heaven. Read. I have sinned against heaven. I've sinned against heaven. And in thy sight. And in thy sight. I mess your name up. Read. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. I'm not worthy to back up off of me, man. Go back in the house. Tell me I ain't good. I'm just being real with you. I'm not sugarcoat nothing. I done had an abortion. I done done time. You don't understand, my God. It's folk looking at me for looking for me right now because I messed up their money. That's why I ain't been coming by the house. Because I don't want mama's house to get shut up. Because I got in trouble the other day and I didn't want to do the time myself. So I went over and I told them stuff I should have told. You don't understand the streets don't even want me. You don't understand what I've done. Back up off of me. Why are you cussing me? Why are you running up on me? So he said, now I'm going to back you up off of me. But let's see what his father did. Read. But the father said to his servant. But the father said unto his servant. Bring forth the best robe. Bring forth the best robe. Come on, not a robe, but the best robe. Read. And put it on him. And put it on him. And put a ring on his hand. Treat him like royalty. Put it on him. Come on and read and put a ring on his hand. Come on and read. And shoes on his feet. Come on. These are symbolic things that give him the best experience. Robes of righteousness. Give him his authority back. The ring, the signet ring of authority, the families, the wealthy families, wealthy kingdom, different ones. They had signet rings. You can go to the market. You can go anywhere. You just show this ring. His father was that influential that he had a signet, a special ring. He goes with his insignia on it. He can go and show this and it backed up. It was backed up by all that he had. He ain't coming back as a second class saint. He's not coming back as a backslider. We don't have no titles around here. My God, amen. He said, give him his, the best role. My Lord, I'm going to give him the best experience he ever had. I'm going to give him the best little relationship he's ever had, my God. Come on and read. And bring hither the fatted calf. And bring hither the fatted calf. And kill it. And kill it. And let us eat and be merry. And let us eat. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate, my God. Let's eat, drink, and be merry. In other words, let's draw, eat, and be merry as if he never left. 
My Lord, what type of love is that? As if he never done anything wrong. What type of, if that's not love, if that, it was so much love that the other son came back, he said, Mama, don't you realize there's no good child of yours? Every family got the one. They think they good one. No, 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 no. The dad said, no, no, no. I don't have those in my family. I don't, that, isn't that love? I don't have the second. No, 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 no. They might have messed up, but that's still my child. That's still my child, my God. I still love them, and I want what's best for them. So here, as we close it out, we're going to go over to John chapter 11. One verse of scripture here we want to look at. If that isn't love, if that isn't love, if that isn't love, come on and read John 11. One. Yep. Now a certain man was sick. Now a certain man was sick. Named Lazarus. Named Lazarus. Of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister. Come on to read. Yes. It was Mary which anointed the Lord with ointment. Uh -huh. And wiped his feet with her hair. Uh -huh. Whose brother Lazarus was sick. Come on to read. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Yes, yes. Behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Uh -huh. When Jesus heard that he said, uh -huh. that he said, this sickness is not the death. Come on. But for this won't be final. God. This won't be final. Come on and read. This is the glory of God. Lazarus, come on and read. That the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Yes. Now that Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Come on and read. When he had heard, therefore, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That ain't love. That ain't love. Lazarus was dead. They sent for Jesus to come. Jesus said, okay, I'll be there. He abode two more days. If it was love, he would rush right now and say, I'm coming right now. Well, I look at his love. He stopped what he was doing. You know, you can tell love. Love is an action word. You can tell. Oh, he ran. It said he waited two days. By the time he got there, they said, what are you here for? And they blamed him. Say, if you had been there, he'd not die. He said, he stinks. We smell him. Jesus said, perfect. All oh, saints, go with me. If that isn't love. This was not final, but for the glory of God. Jesus said, I'm going to raise him up. His sister said, I know the doctrine, the resurrection. You're going to raise him. You're getting doctrinal on me. You're going to raise him on the last day. Jesus said, hold on, you understand, I am the doctrine. <laughs> How are you going to put doctrine on me? <laughs> I am the resurrection. All the doctrine point to me. <laughs> you better learn me. He said, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. So here, he said, show me where you laid him. Just show me where you laid him. He went, it was a stone there. He said, Move that stone out the way. Just move the stone out the way. But he dead. Move the stone out the way. You deal with that stone. Just move that stone out the way. But he stinks. Just move that stone out the way. You understand my love. Just move that stone. Whatever is hindering me from get to him, you just deal with that. You just deal with whatever is between you and Jesus. You just let it go. He said, remove the stone out the way. But once they move the stone out the way, you know the story. He says, Lazarus, come forth. Oh Lazarus jumps up, <laughs> grave clothes on, comes forth. Then he says, Lucy, <laughs> let him go. Yes. Grave clothes fell off. All right. ah. Lazarus was restored back to his family. But why did he wait, though? If that is in love. Jesus said, I'm going to remove all question marks. In the Jewish sects, some of the Jewish sects, they had various beliefs about death. Some believed that in three days, for three days, the spirit remained in the body, although it was dead. After the third day, it leaves. That brings the stinking. Another one felt that the spirit was around the body for three days. Now, mind you, medical science hadn't developed in that point. 
The only way it was indisputable was the fourth day when they had these mystic thoughts that the spirit left because the body stinks. But they didn't realize that there's something called rigor mortis. There's something that the body begins to rot. So the body, after three days, in that climate, would begin to stink. That was the only time that it was indisputable that it was a miracle. Sometimes a person could just be really, really, really low and sick so they don't have a pulse. Even now, they meant we can't get a pulse. That really didn't mean they were dead. So later on that night, they would come back and they would say, oh, the spirit came back into the body. The spirit actually never left the body. But they didn't have the medical science. But after the third day, now you got to get up to, it stinks. It, 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 it smells real bad. So it's indisputable. They had never seen that before. They saw somebody come back who was still for a day. But they never seen anybody come back whose body was stinking. Jesus said, I'm going to wait. How many days is it? Two. Nope, we got to wait. How many days is it? Three. How many days is it now? All right, let's go. It was a bunch of Jews that had gathered together. He said... This will be undeniable. If they see this and they don't accept me, I don't have anything else to offer. She knew the doctrine. She knew what Isaiah said about the Messiah coming. She knew what Daniel said in 70 weeks. He would bring an end to sin. He understood the prophecy. He understood all of these things that John the Baptist said, prepare the way. But Jesus said, in an act of love, I want to give you something undeniable so that you would know whenever you get real, real low, whenever you get in a dead state, no matter what you're in, you will know that there is hope. Yes. All right. Come on. Thank you. He didn't do this for everybody. But this was one of the greatest acts of Jesus' love in the Bible. Amen. Other people he touched that had just died. Other people he touched that was blind. But never before did he use this act and this depth of love on the people. So these people here had experienced some of the greatest manifestation of the love of Jesus. <sighs> All right. Believe. Bring it to us. Come on. I'm talking about those that grew up Church of God for a moment. I got to do something in your midst that you can never deny. These individuals here saw such a manifestation. It went all over the world. No, no, no. He wasn't just dead. He was dead. He stunk. That's why I said he's stinking. They had never heard he was stinking. Jesus did that. Whoa, that's undeniable. Whoa, 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 how can I deny that? I'm allowed some stuff to happen in your midst. That no matter how low you go in sin, no matter if your family's messed up, no matter if you're in jail, no matter if you get on crack cocaine, no matter if you get on heroin, no matter what you get in, no matter what your situation is, I'm going to perform in your midst at such a level that you're going to know undeniably the way home. Now, you may not choose to accept it, but you're not going to be among those that are confused. You have seen, my God, a, a manifestation of miraculous power that is undeniable. Not just a sermon, but you saw the miracle. To grow up in a place where you've seen souls delivered from all manner of spirits, demons cast out, undeniably so. For that, you can't deny, on crack, on heroin, demon possessed, moved from Detroit, brought him down on the other side, had to put him down on the altar, lay hands on him, demons start coming out of him, my God. A few years later, his wife had one of the greatest miracles the world had ever seen. Undeniably. My God. What thumb was it, Frank? Thumb. Playing. Snaps all the way back on the bump beds upstairs. Oh they screaming. A 30-something-year-old Brother Hampton. Daddy, daddy. Now I'm 911. Daddy, daddy. His thumb is our daddy, daddy, daddy. My mother. What? Hun, Frank. Frank. Look at his thing. Frank. Frank. What? No hesitation. Put it back up. No hesitation. No reaching for a cell phone. 
No calling 911 in the name of Jesus. The thumb snapped back up. same individual wife has a placenta previa whereas the placenta is in front means that you're gonna die because it's gonna birth before the baby birth the saints gather in prayer anoint pray laying on the altar she's down in ohio at a sister congregation my god praying wouldn't leave the altar wouldn't change wouldn't change clothes until my god get the report baby's here baby's here my god my god, my god. railroad tracks Prayed up. Yeah. Cancer. Sneeze in the back. In her side. You said, believe with Maurice. My wife over here. Yes. Going in. No blood in the body. None whatsoever. Doctor say, I don't know how you walked in here. If you leave here, we're not going to see you next week. If you're still alive by Monday, you need a transfusion right now. You need it right now. And we're the only one that can give it. You ain't the only one that can give it. Yeah. My God. Yeah. My God. You ain't the only one that can give it. You ain't the only one that can give it, my God. Every appeal blocked. No way out of jail. No way out of prison. This appeal, that appeal. But God said, I got the last appeal. I got the last appeal. So here you've seen undeniable manifestations of the power of God. And he's saying, I'm going to wait four days. And y'all miss so if you ever in a tight, your marriage, you're dealing with depression, you're not dealing with Babylon. You're not dealing with a theory. You're not dealing with a set of beliefs. Because I'm going to tell you, saints, if you ever bank your confidence in a set of belief, somebody can come with a different interpretation and tell you what you got is not truth. But what was the message Brother Hampton preached right before he left? You've seen too much. Let somebody get you in the corner and say, this ain't right, this ain't right, there's a new day, this ain't. Uh -uh. I said, Dad, go in there and convince them. Have a saints meeting and convince them that this person spreading this stuff is not biblical, it's not right. And he said, no, 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 no. He said, matter of fact, let me go out there and preach it. Turn your Bibles over here. Y'all seen too much. This is our church meeting. Y'all seen too much. Church over. Oh. Then he said, I got a little strength to come back right before I leave. Just a little bit. <sighs> some, some folk gonna rise up among you. Okay, I was done with that. That was my last message, but I still got one more for you. Don't be deceived. Good night. Good, good, good night. If you go past all that you have seen, some folk ain't never seen it on that order. Some folk can be talked out of it because they've only seen it from afar. But what you've experienced, as we close it out, Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2. Singers, get ready. Joel chapter 2, verse 25. If that isn't love, Seven billion people in the world, but he allowed you to be exposed to truth if that is in love. We're not talking about joining church, but you was raised up that you had to get saved if that is in love. God taught you that you can be delivered from all sin and you cannot serve two masters. You can't go to church on Sunday, but be cussing somebody out on Monday. Thank God if that's not love for him to expose you to this great truth. Seven billion people in the world, they're confused, my God. You got folk up in the choir, my God, involved in all type of foolishness, my God. Preachers up talking about I sin every day. I lust after women, my God. If you sin, you're not saved. The Bible said, awake the righteous and sin not. Thank the Lord. To, if that's not love to expose you to real truth, where you can go to an altar of prayer and really get saved for real and never do wrong again by the grace of God, you don't go from a pack a day to a half a pack to a third of a pack, but you get delivered. The taste has moved out your mouth. If that's not love to expose you to that, my God, that God can keep a young man who comes to an altar of prayer, my God, keeping a, a, a clean and virtuous until the day he gets married never touch his wife if that's not love to expose you to grace that no matter what you go through my God you can get a word from the Lord to lift you up my God to give you the inspiration to keep on going if that's not love come on and read brother I will restore to you and I will restore unto you the years that the locust have eaten the years the locust have eaten the pink worm the canker worm. And the caterpillar. The caterpillar. And the palmer worm. The palmer worm. My great army which I sent among you. Stop right there. We're done. What God is saying today. Some people have done some things that they shouldn't have done. And they messed up. But God is saying in mercy. Here's a clock. Just wear it on my wrist. You was out there. You spent some time out there. My God. Your children should have been in church when you was out there doing your own thing. My God, my God, my God. You should have been saved a long time ago.
but in love. You come. You come correct. You come broken and contrite. And you let God know, just give me one more chance. You let God know, mama, I should have been saved. Daddy, I messed up. Daddy, mama. God said, I'm going to turn back the clock. All them years you should have been saved. All that stuff you should have. God, how are you going to do that? No, the Bible said you must reap what you sow. No, you can't. I'm God. I'm turning back the clock. I'm turning back the clock. I'm turning back, my God, to your 30s. I'm turning back when you should have been saving your 20s. I'm turning back your 40s. I'm turning back the clock. God, you going to turn back the clock for that sinner? You don't understand. I don't see a sinner. I see somebody that's going to help me usher this second coming in. I don't see what you see. You see broken down. I see cleaned up. You see no more chance. I see another chance. If that's not love, God is saying, I will restore the years that the locusts have eaten. You'll be able to say, devil. You got a blow in, but I'm about to get you back. You'll be able to say, Lord, don't just, he said, I'm not going to just forgive you, but I'm going to restore what the devil stole from you. My God. When David messed up, they took everything David had. David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord said, David, go. I feel with everything within me. God is telling somebody this morning, go. I got you. I got you. I got, I'm giving you inspiration. Yes. Go right now. Oh God, help this morning. This right here is your mama prayers. Boy, help us. I'm not going to just forgive you. Go right now. And I'm going to restore all. David went. He took back everything they took. And then David took their stuff. <laughs> Give me more. God is saying this morning. My God. If that is not love, that he is willing to turn back the clock all the times you got high. It's as though it never happened. My God. You, di you didn't raise your children like you should have. I'm turning the clock back. You messed your marriage. I'm turning the clock back. My God. You did some stuff you shouldn't have done. Some mothers need to come to the altar right now because there's some things that they shouldn't have done to their children, but they exposed. God is saying, I'm turning the clock back. Some, some fathers need to, I'm turning the clock back. If that is in love, Shall we stand? My God, my God.